You'll be amazed, but scientists have discovered an incredible cup that is several thousand years old and was created using nanotechnology. How's that even possible? Today, I will tell you about the most interesting ancient technologies that our humanity has discovered. And at the end, you'll learn about the most astonishing cave that can zombify people. Enjoy watching! In our world, everyone has their own miniature computer at hand. Yes, I'm talking about phones. Through them, we can do literally anything. Go to the other side of the world? Easily done. Order food for yourself? <laughs> Easy. And you can even plan a route from home to the nearest park in just a few clicks. But back in the past century, humanity couldn't even dream of such technologies. After all, computers were simply colossal in size and often larger than a whole apartment. But what if I told you that over 2000 years ago, computers already existed. You can call me crazy, but recently I stumbled upon a very interesting foreign article about the Antikythera mechanism. What is it? Why is it called a computer? And how old is it really? Let me tell you now. Sometime in the early 20th century, near the Greek island of Antikythera, a couple of fishing boats stumbled upon a sunken ship from ancient Rome. On board, researchers discovered marble statues, various golden artifacts, and amphorae. It was immediately clear to everyone that this ship was several thousand years old. But imagine the surprise when an amazing mechanism was discovered on board. It consisted of a bunch of gears. Initially, it was not clear what it was at all. But later, scientists made a sensational discovery. The Antikythera mechanism turned out to be essentially an analog computer. You see, our modern computing devices operate on a binary principle – yes or no. They are also called discrete. But those computers that work with various physical parameters such as speed, length, current pressure, and others are called analog. They are still used today. Take, for example, a thermometer. And many cars still have such computers. If you didn't know, automatic transmission is nothing but a real analog computing mechanism. They were very popular in the past century. But today such computers are almost unnecessary for anyone. After all, they had only one purpose and could not be used otherwise. And they took up a lot of space. But discrete technologies, on the contrary, have been developing at a tremendous pace due to their versatility. But let's get back to our ancient find. What was it actually used for? Inside the Antikythera mechanism, they found 37 gears of various sizes. And the whole construction lay in a rectangular wooden box. The main dial represented a mechanical solar system. Thanks to it, one could understand the exact position of the Moon, the Sun, and other known planets at that time. Another dial calculated the dates of lunar phases recurrence. In general, it was a kind of very smart calendar, which also had built-in clocks. It's amazing how something like this could have been created several thousand years ago. And this mechanism could also be used for navigation. In general, a real universal device that, as it seems to me, should not have been lost. Only one question remains a mystery. Who actually created this marvel of engineering thought? After all, the precision with which this device worked is simply mind-blowing. And even in our time, people didn't immediately understand its device. To fully understand its purpose, it was necessary to wait until humanity developed computer tomography. After all, even X-rays did not help in this matter. But today, our scientists have already created a full-fledged working copy of this mechanism. It truly astonishes me what amazing artifacts were created several thousand years ago. And from these findings, I personally can't help but wonder if all this known history is true. Just listen. In Rome, an amazing Lycurgus cup was discovered, which is several thousand years old. And no, what shocks me is not how beautiful it is, how skillfully made and so on. For many years after the discovery of this artifact, scientists racked their brains trying to decipher its amazing properties. The thing is, under normal light, this cup looks green. But if you shine directed light through it, it turns red. It is believed that the cup was found at the end of the 19th century. And it was only several decades later, in 1959, that one scientist accidentally discovered its amazing properties. And why the cup changes its color turned out to be a very difficult puzzle for us. After all, it received such a property not because of some pigment inside the glass, 
Scientists believed that there were some nanoparticles inside it that interacted with the photons of light and changed its spectrum. It sounds like something highly technological and almost unrealizable. And these are definitely not the technologies that could have been used a couple of thousand years ago. But as it turned out, that's exactly how it was in reality. In 1990, scientists found that there was dust of silver and gold inside the glass. And it is thanks to them that such an amazing property is manifested. But I have only one question. How could people even guess 2000 years ago about such a thing? This is essentially nanotechnology. Just think about it. Firstly, people needed to know that glass with a mixture of silver and gold could change the color of the light passing through it. Secondly, it was necessary to know precisely the concentration and proportions of all materials. And finally, thirdly, a very skilled glass blower was needed who could make such a remarkable artifact. In general, as usual, a huge pile of mysteries, the solution of which we will not learn in the near future. I've always been amazed by all these pyramids in Egypt, astonishing catacombs and caves, and other ancient structures. And I've wondered, how on earth did people in ancient times manage to build all this? Seriously, who built these huge pyramids? But even these structures can't compare to the ancient temple complex of Puma Punku. Puma Punku translates as Gate of the Puma. Why exactly this name was chosen for the complex is truly unknown. After all, there's nothing in its architecture that would resemble animals, as for example was the case in ancient Egypt. There, if you didn't know, there's the Sphinx and other sculptures that represented animals worshipped by people. But Puma Punku is very interesting because of its architecture. The buildings in this temple complex are made of stone that has very precise geometric shapes. It's amazing how everything was well thought out. The walls were built from huge and very heavy blocks. And these blocks were interlocked with each other using a tongue and groove system. That is, one had a protrusion and the other had a groove. And the most astonishing thing is that they were made with incredible precision. Literally all the angles, whether they were columns, walls or ceilings, were made strictly at right angles. Our modern builders couldn't even dream of such accuracy. Moreover, all these huge stone blocks weighed several tons if not hundreds of tons. And now imagine that first this stone was quarried somewhere, then transported to the construction site because there were no quarries nearby, and then they were processed for a long time, turning ordinary rock into true geometric masterpieces. How was this even possible at all? But what bothers me personally is not this question. It's clear that with our technologies, creating such structures would be possible. However, all this was created several thousand years ago. Some scientists say that this temple complex is over 10,000 years old. It's impossible to definitely determine the age of the structure now. But doesn't it seem to you that it was simply impossible for ancient people to create all this? Why do I think so? Well, look, if in Egypt scientists were able to prove how the pyramids were built, then here it's still unclear where these smooth facets came from. The thing is, besides the tongue and groove attachment, the blocks of the complex were processed in such a way that their connection could be made without cement mortar at all. And this is a very surprising fact. After all, not even a sharpened blade could fit between two blocks of ordinary rock. And it's also amazing that all these blocks had a similar shape and structure. That is, in ancient times, people were able to set up full-fledged mass production of identical parts, which were then used in construction. Doesn't it seem too much to you, considering that the construction is several thousand years old? Personally, it seems to me that ancient civilizations were involved here. Or aliens. People have long noted that some structures have simply inexplicable characteristics. It seems that even now it's almost impossible to create a production of identical multi-ton blocks from rock that could be attached to each other without using cement. Or maybe it's all about extraterrestrial civilizations that helped humanity. This would explain why scientists still cannot confidently answer how such structures appeared in ancient times. In our world, there are a huge number of the most mysterious places, the existence of which people still do not know about. And I'm sure of that. 
After all, some of the structures are found completely by accident. Like, for example, what happened with the Hulls of Liani catacombs. In the early 20th century, in 1902, construction was underway on the island of Malta. Work was being done in the suburbs of the city Paola. The workers were preparing to build a special system for collecting water, and for this, they needed to install a container for the liquid. And so, they began to cut a deep pit in the limestone rock. During these works, they discovered voids in the rock. However, none of them paid any attention to it, except for the local priest. When rumors reached him about the discovery of some tunnels, he managed to persuade the government to suspend the work. And after that, he went to explore the find. Inside, he immediately realized that these were not natural caves at all, but full-fledged structures created by someone. These turned out to be catacombs, inside of which was a whole labyrinth of oval-shaped chambers connected by stairs and corridors. Inside, he found a huge number of human and animal remains. At first, everyone thought that these catacombs belonged to the Christian church, but they were mistaken. The thing is, no symbols were found on the walls of the underground structure that could indicate its affiliation with any faith. On the contrary, there were found a large number of drawings with various geometric shapes. Most likely, this place was a kind of refuge for sectarians where they made sacrifices. This is indicated by the large number of human and animal bones. According to various estimates, there are about 4,000 of them there. But what personally astonishes me is not just the fact of the discovery, but the remarkable properties it possesses. The thing is, in this entire catacomb complex, there's one amazing chamber. It's been dubbed the Oracle Chamber. The fact is that this chamber had unique acoustic properties. In one of the corners, there's a special oval niche positioned at the height of an adult's face. But what was it needed for? The answer turned out to be maximally surprising. The thing is, if a person with a sufficiently low voice starts speaking into this niche, their voice will be heard throughout the cave. And all thanks to the echo, which will carry the words of this person and greatly amplify the voice. In general, it's a very amazing place. But the most astonishing thing is that if someone with a high-pitched voice, like a girl, tries to say something into the niche, for example, there will be no such effect. How's that even possible? For me personally, and for scientists as well, it remains a mystery who could have created such a room that would work like a huge megaphone only at certain frequencies. And what's more, a sound frequency of 110 Hz would start to resonate causing people in the catacombs to experience a powerful effect. Such vibrations could easily induce hypnosis in a person. Perhaps the people who were in this temple experienced mystical sensations from the rituals performed there. But you know what's the most astonishing fact? According to scientists, this structure was created about 6,000 years ago. Who could have known about the properties of sound resonance at that time? How could they have calculated such a complex structure of rooms so that sound would propagate evenly? Who could have created such a huge cave inside the rock? No one can answer this question to this day. Personally, I find it amazing how advanced ancient civilizations were. Modern history claims that in those times, people knew nothing about science. But in reality, so many amazing technologies existed several thousand years ago. So maybe it was all created by aliens. And you know, it sounds quite realistic, considering the amazing structures I've told you about today. Personally, I think all these ancient technologies were invented by some civilization whose remnants simply didn't survive to our days. In any case, our history, yours and mine, has many blank spots. Maybe our government is hiding something. Or maybe someone intentionally erases historical events from the chronicles. Who knows? Today, I told you about the most amazing ancient technologies that scientists still can't explain. Write in the comments what you like the most, and also if you want more. Personally, I'll highlight the computer which was created with professional precision. And you know where else professionals are needed? In our team! Friends, you have the opportunity to join our team. If you have skills in video editing, can voice videos in Russian, English and other languages, or write interesting scripts, we'll be glad to work with you. Write to the Telegram bot. Link in the description. And thank you for watching!